Okay, so what we've got here is the MAT-10 automatic container tuner, um, a product out of China, and um, quite a robust bit of kit. For, for scale, there it is next to the uh, wonderful 818. So not particularly big. Um, what you basically get is the tuner itself. There's a power charger, a charger that comes with it and then um, a cat cable here which uh, attaches to the back of the uh, 818 or the 817 um, and that allows the uh, the tuner to uh, put the uh, the 818 into uh, into a tune mode to enable it to auto tune um, and so on and so forth um, what you basically do then in that scenario is you select your band and frequency on the on the radio itself so here we are we're uh, a little bit hard to see, 180 meters, 3875 and LSB. And if we keep it here, I'm going to push the tune button on the on the tuner. And you can see it defaults into FM to get a carrier and then it goes for a tuning cycle. Now in this instance, it's tuned on this frequency before, so it's just instantaneous. It's already uh, remembered the tuning positions for the various relays inside, all latching relays. So. There's very little um, powered draw. Not sure though, if you switch it off. Let's hold that sucker. It's off. Um, what the scenario is, I think it basically latch and they, uh, it stays tuned. So there you go, that's a basic overview of it. It's actually a pretty pretty neat, quite small, not particularly thick um, tuner. Um, lithium-ion batteries inside so you charge it up and uh, allegedly it runs for a long while um, charger port in the base um, to excuse my very rustic cables at the top it comes with BNC's so I've got a couple of uh, adapters there for this particular antenna which is using a, a PL259 or an SO239 whichever um, here's a cat cable here and then here's my uh, very rustic looking uh, BNC out to the uh, patch lead there. And um, yeah, so all in all, pretty cool. Um, lots more features, I'm sure. We'll we'll talk about those in a different uh, different video.